Generic greetings and welcome back to Prison Architect. In the previous episode, we managed to get one of the fingers, for lack of a better term, done over here, which is our high risk area. We may change things up later on and grade some of the cells, but for the time being, they're pretty much done. We have all of the security, we have all the patrols, all of the sniper towers, in which for some reason that guy, they want to double up on the snipers by the look of it. <laughs> Hang on, what's going on there? That is a new one. Is he gonna where's he gonna go to now? Really wants to go up that tower. Um Right, pull them out of the tower. Now nobody wants to go up the tower. Well, that's just dandy. Maybe there's too much Girati up there or something. Anyway, we also got our super max area done, which is pretty much identical to the high risk. And there's a couple of schools of thought. There's many schools of thought, actually, but um I think there's two ways of going about this. You either give them everything they want and give them a high-graded cell and not necessarily keep them in permanent lockdown, but you can do. Or you just say, no, you are a high-risk prisoner, you've been naughty, you're going in there, you obey our rules. And if you don't like that, then basically what you're going to do about it. We have sniper towers, we have armed guards, we have tasers, we have uh, reform, so we are trying to improve um, all of that. But uh, yeah, basically that, that you, you can do that. Um... And we went that way because it's a bit more of a challenge and there's already a fight. And this is um, James Conahan. Hmm, what a surprise. Tough and extremely volatile. It always happens. Eventually there'll be a taser going off. And um, there we go, there's the taser. So yes, all of these prisoners are coming over here. That's an issue because we really need to get, ideally, their own um, shower up and running. I'm going to do that um, probably before this area here. Uh, we've also got intake very, very shortly, so we'll uh, have to keep an eye on that one. Let's just see if anything happens here. Obviously, we do have patrols going around. These are all going to go in the shower for the hygiene stuff. They're not using this shower, which is a shame. There's no load balancing, load balancing on that one. Hmm. Anyway, let's just go over to materials and then concrete tiles. We're going to run some concrete tiles along, and then we'll run them up here, and then along, and then down there as well. Haven't done this little section. Actually, what are these tiles in here? These are, these are, oh, these are concrete tiles in here. Yeah, they are all concrete tiles. I mean, at one point there was some uh, some grass in there, but you know that's been a that's been. A <laughs> fixed a long time ago. So anyway, yeah, we'll put some uh, concrete tiles there and we'll get that shower up and running so it means they should hopefully go there because it is closer. So in terms of our intake, you can see it currently says minus 339. That's because it uh, hasn't counted in yet all of the workshop sales, which as you can see, uh, there's quite a few. <laughs> we are going to get some more prisoners, specifically two medium security and three normal security. There's still a fair amount of people in here. As you can see, which is strange because you would think these would be moved over over here because these beds, a couple of these beds are not getting used. Maybe they will be at some point, but uh, we'll see about that one. Although, is this classed as... That's a question. Is that classed as... Safe prisons? I don't think it is. Let me just get rid of it for now. No, it does not that. Didn't think it did. Thought I'd give it a test. Why not? Doesn't affect anything. There we are. Okay, so currently free time. Obviously, all the workers are going to go and get all of this tiling put in. Then we'll put the brick wall in, and then we'll have to put the showers in, which shouldn't be much. Shouldn't be that difficult. Uh, we might even do this bottom bit here, for example, as well. Why not? If we're going to do one bit, we might as well do the other. And oh dear! Straight away, there's a death. Um, that is a guard, and that's from who? Tim Rennie, um, skilled fighter. No, it's from this guy. It's Patton. It's Patton again. Okay. You, sir, are getting super maxed. And... Is he trying to run out? He is trying to run out. I was just about to lock down that one. But, uh... Yeah, wow, three deaths. That's... That's quick. <laughs> yes, that was obviously... Uh, he, he's, he's a legendary prisoner. He has to be. It says... Current reputation unknown, but he's going to be a legendary prisoner. Um, at least it feels that way. Okay, so we'll bring this over here. We'll bring that there. We'll get these tiles put in here. And what we need to do uh, for a start off, we need to check any of these new people with traits that we're uh, no traits that we're off. Trait there. Don't know what it is. Okay, let's see if we can solve this. Activate one, two. We'll say three. Informants, and when they get taken over there, we'll see what uh, what traits they have, or rather, we'll see if they're being targeted. So I'll have to keep an eye on that one. Um, it'll take a while for them to get over to the 
that area there. So we'll quickly go ahead and we'll say shower. Let's get that and that is shower. It just needs a shower head. But we're going to put shower heads all the way along. And then we're going to put underneath it, naturally, the drains. Whereas either one just fills up. This one will just drain straight into that one. Because gone are the days when it wouldn't drain right underneath it and it had to be diagonal instead. <laughs> so I'm just speeding up to max speed. Keep an eye on the security station. And um, what will happen is the CI will be brought here and interrogated. At least they should be. Definitely legendary prisoner. Right, there's some contraband getting snuck in. That's been sought out. So where are they being interrogated? He's getting targeted, yeah. They're not in that security. Oh, they've been brought to there. Why? That is staff only. That is a new one on me. So that confidential informant and that confidential informant, Lee, being interrogated here. That is not the place I want them to be interrogated. That is definitely set to staff only, is it not? So why are they not being brought to the proper area? Oh, maybe because it's access only. I would have thought that... Well, that... No, it can't be access only because they could... They have to access that to do it. That's not great. That's problematic. Anyway, so have a look around. That guy's getting targeted, yes. We can see there's like different pieces of equipment all over here. Instigator, strong, tough, historical, fearless. Yep, there's our legendary prisoner. I'll check that in a minute. So we've got that trait, that's fine. Some fearless, some tough. Obviously, we did go ahead and change a lot of these prisoners to supermax. Which you don't get. You don't get supermax being brought in. It doesn't work that way. Um, okay. If there's other traits that I should be aware of, that I don't know. Instigator could be an issue. That is a fairly naughty trait. Maybe go for protective custody and solitary per um, lockdown permanent. Okay, so as far as I can tell, that's about it. There's some more tasers going off. It's just a constant thing. Anyway, so, Simon Parton, legendary prisoner, which we assumed was the case anyway. Extremely strong, hits harder with each punch during fights. Extremely tough, can withstand a lot more punishment in fights. They can some, also sometimes uh, withstand hits by a taser. Extremely volatile, like, able to kick off without warning. Stokel, not become suppressed when locked in solitary. They just don't care. Extremely deadly, uh, a master in lethal combat moves and can sometimes kill with a single hit. Well, we've seen that happen. And fearless, not intimidated by the sight of arm guards. Oh, hang on. It scrolls. Good grief. Um, Prisoner not intimidated by the sight of arm guards and less likely to surrender during a fight. Instigator was <laughs> so seized of discontent uh, in all those nearby. When he causes trouble, nearby prisoners will feel compelled to do the same. An expert fighter. Skilled defensive combat. Basically, he's got all the traits that we could possibly get. In the base game without mutators. That's an issue. So, yeah. Legend Dairy. Yeah, I think he's, I think he's got some traits there. So um, we do have an arm guard there. I'm going to do this. I'm putting free fire on. Um, we've had so many kickoffs now that, quite frankly, I want to. Tasers don't really work on these guys, um, and he's extremely deadly. If he gets hit, no, if he hits someone rather, they could just go straight away. I mean, he killed three people this morning. Um, and I don't know what the solution is. Other than having him on permanent lockdown in a better cell. Which might be the way to go. Just make a better a better cell both areas and then just give him permanent lockdown. But he's always going to kick off anyway. He's extremely volatile, so I don't really know what to do on that one. Hmm. I'll get the showers done. I'll get this area done first, and then I'll then I'll worry about it. Because that's been... Uh, that's been something I've been wanting to do for a while. We could actually make him a confidential informant. 
Um, I might as well. Why not? I probably won't activate him. I've got so many confidential informants anyway. Mm, I've activated the ones with the most coverage, though, really. Oh, hang on. Is that Adam Lee again? It is Adam Lee. He's given up. There we go. As soon as we had armed guards going around, he's like, nope, hands up. And then uh, he doesn't want to do that one. Covered utilities and some large pipe here. I'm going to run that across. And then small pipe. Just going to get ran. Like that. Tom bottom. And that'll be all that. And then it stops the prisoners going over here. As I said before, we're not uh, segregating the prisoners. We're allowing them to go where they want, for the most part. But, um, yeah, we also... We also really want them to stay here. That's why we're trying to put things here. So, um, you know, all the showers are over here so they don't go and mix in the showers, canteen, uh, kitchen, and common room. Um, one thing that I guess is a problem is this. That visitation there, currently set to high risk only. That's an issue because, well, Supermax exists now. So we need to change it to anyone, which means that, yes, we will get prisoners of maybe uh, a low grit a low grade go there. Wow, okay. Adam Cheetah Dial. Um, yeah. I guess he's just started to kick off. And quite frankly, we've got Free Fire on, so that's what's happened to that. I guess the term taking no prisoners does sort of <laughs> resonate on this one. At least the guard tower has now sorted itself, which is good. So. Finishing off this here, there's some money for early release. We need to start thinking about the kitchen and canteen. Um, that stuff does on there. Um, they're going in there to clean, which is fine. Should it check deployment? Yes, that should be staff only. There we are. Uh, that's not staff only, but we've got metal detectors. That has to be. That can be staff only. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so do you want to put storage down there? Don't think I need to. Probably leave it. So, let's start planning off this area here. So, this is going to be our canteen. Or at least, that's the idea. Um, we could have, if we wanted to, could have just five serving tables like that. With a door there. That could work. Wall there. Objects. That will be cookers. Seven of them. Then our normal double set for, yeah, we'll have a double maybe, double fridges, and then place to wash the dishes, three there. That could work, a little cramped, we could easily extend it if we wanted to, so four there and say eight there, could do that instead, maybe move these further down. Have them like that instead, maybe. Yes, it fits in a bit better. I don't think we need all that many fridges. Something like that, anyway. Um, obviously, entrance to this is only going to be... Um, actually, I'm going to put two in. One there, one there. We'll use walls, because that's what we'll be using them as. And then we'll have all of our tables around here. So, tables... Rough idea again. Uh, three by four. That could work. That could work. Perhaps. Some gap in the middle there. I'm also of the opinion that it's not big enough for the amount of prisoners we're going to have over here. So let's make that a bit bigger. Buy another five. There we are. Because a common room that size is probably too large anyway. And then we'll go ahead with the three befores. They seem to fit in okay like that. Ideally, you'd want a gap of two between them. But let's just see if we can do it this way. Um, that's not going to fit in. So we could just have another one, and then something else there. Let's try the other way, then. Gap of two, maybe, and like that. 
A lot of wasted space in it. A lot of wasted space. Although if we have our phone booths at the back, we'll probably still end up getting the right amount in. Like that. Oh, I like the gap of gap of three. Then phone booths down the middle as well. That could work. Um, the only issue is you do get a lot of people congregating around where they pick up the food. So that is probably the way to go. Tentative plan. I don't mind that. And then phone booths on the back. Only problem is the little bit of a gap there. We could always get rid of those ones like that. Give a little bit of room to go around. It's not too bad. I think we'll go with that one for the time being. Right, okay. So, brick wall. Let's go. I just crack straight on into it. Might not be a fantastic, but it should be alright. Large jail door. Both go on there. Um, I was going to go ahead and change these to solitary doors, actually. On these jail doors. Um, I think that's a good idea. I think that was suggested in the comments, and I do agree. So, let's go ahead with that one. Dismantle that. So, there's Adam Lee. Where's our other one? There he is. He's heading back. A lot of our money we're getting because of early release. That's good. Yeah, so I'm not too sure whether or not... Uh, it's sleep time. I'm going to do a full shakedown tonight. I'm just going to wait for everybody to get back. Ah, you know what? Let's just go. I'm not too sure whether or not we... Oh, sorry. That is a tunnel. And that's a lot of people trying to escape. Okay. So, we'll turn off that shakedown. Because we've got a lot of people trying to escape now. And that's a lot of people. Who have we got around here? A lot of guards. If all these guards could actually go around where the action's going to be, then that would be uh, just... Dandy. I don't know where they're going. Please go around this way. There we go. Don't think... I don't think I need to... Bring in right guards. No. There we go. Then we'll turn the lockdown off. Alright. Well, it looks like that shakedown isn't going to finish, is it? Um, We just don't have enough guards. Because all these are going to be taken to solitary. And that's going to take... Ages. Alright, remove tunnels. <laughs> Everything's getting searched in here. At least we found it before it got too problematic. Although, to be fair, the end result was probably to uh, try and do that anyway. They were probably just going to get we're gonna get closer. Although, they probably dig up and around and this way or something like that. Or maybe that way. I don't know. Digging from there is just a nightmare. I don't think it's possible. Assuming you do shakedowns once every five or six days, they're never going to tunnel out of that one. The ones that are in the highest risk of tunneling are this one here. I think that's that's probably the one that's going to be the most difficult. So we're just finishing off these cells here. Obviously, we're just putting the solitary doors on. It just means that if they start to kick off, we've got a bit more time there. And there we are. There's them cells, so people will be brought back. A lot of them will be put in here, maybe. There we go. Uh, and then we'll just do, keep continue doing a bit more shakedown. Obviously, it's going to piss people off, but, well, quite frankly, that's what it's going to have to do, isn't it? So we will be getting some prisoners soon. Um, what I want to do is... I want to hire... Um, do I want to set a guard patrol in here? An armed guard patrol. We've got an armed guard patrol around here. And ideally we want more. One, two, three, four. Five. Six. And seven. Let's just not mess around. Originally the idea was to stop um, using the armed stuff because you get a better reform because they're not suppressed. But that doesn't seem to be working out too well. Oh, let's let's try it. Let's just do that. So at least these areas are not really accessible to these prisoners. There's a tunnel we need to remove there as well. Okay. 
and it's already there's already some kickoff. You can hear it over here. Oh, hang on. There's some fighting around here. There he is. Oh, hang on. <laughs> Did you see that? Uh, our legendary prisoner. Not so legendary when he comes around the corner. And then immediately you get... Uh, not pull back, pull back, pull back. I'm telling him to pull back. Oh, okay. That's happening then. Um, yeah, there we are. Um, he came around the corner and the sniper laser line just went... Beam. Oh no, and then he noped right out of that situation and went straight in there. <laughs> um, oh, hang on, hang on. Uh, how do I stop this? Stop the dog, stop the dog. Uh, so, dog handler murdered with dog leash, his own dog leash, and Simon Patton dead. The dog kept on fighting after the handler died. Wow. I sort of expected that. And I I was trying to remember in in the past what why is it a box there? I was trying to remember in the past, is there anything you can do about that? See look, dead, mauled to death by guard dog. I was trying to think what can you do to stop that? And I don't think there's much you can do, if anything. Hmm. Well, quite frankly, that was pretty much always gonna happen eventually. When that's that type of prisoner. Anyway, so we are continuing over here with the showers, which hopefully are getting used now, which is good. Um, we are still in the midst of doing this one. Uh, in terms of our utilities, they are uh, running over here. That's fine. I'm just going to run power straight into that one, like so, and then up to there because we will be putting some electrical cables. Uh, sorry, we need to run electrical cable up to here because that's where we're going to have our. Uh, open and open, uh, and lock open rather. That's where we're going to have our metal detectors. There we are, and that one is a staff door, so that's fine. However, we do want a staff door there, then a jail door there, and then we'll set that one as staff only. So, we have got some more people, um, but it was a while ago. So, they have already been searched. Just having a quick scoot across. Can't see anyone there. Okay, so, Matthew Brown, activate you. Stephen uh, Garner, 100% coverage. So, we should learn a lot. The longer they're in here, in the prison, and the more they interact, the higher their coverage goes up. So, en route, you can see they're being taken to... Oh, they are being taken to here. Right, so, straight away, Adam Lee's pointed out, right, well, that guy's been, you know, up for a target. Aha! Ex-law enforcement, there we go. Um, we will say, protective custody, and you, lockdown permanent. Right, that's good, that's pointed that out. And there's a snitch as well. Tim Piddock, excellent, this is working. Uh, protective custody, lockdown permanent. So I'll have a poster child to uh, showing why I should use CIs more. I normally just don't activate them because I'm doing other things and, you know, building things. Um, I tend to focus on more of that than the management side of it. And why is it kicking off in here? Um, extremely volatile, that's why. Um, do we want to put the extremely volatile... Oh, volatile's fine, it's instigated. We're trying to uh, remove out of the equation. So, as far as I can tell... They're en route. That one's active. Stephen Garner's on... He's activated. So them three are targeted, as you can see. But... Not really an issue. You see there's lots of contraband floating around and we're seeing who's got it and where they've, been, where they've stashed it and such. 
That's not really my concern. No, that's okay. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, so we'll turn that off now. Right. So we're over here. We can get the... Hopefully the canteen and kitchen done. Uh, that's going to be locked open. That's our jail door. We will go for a deployment of guards in here. Actually, I'll do it once we've put the foundation in because it's just a little bit easier. So canteen first. That's going to be placed all in there. And then to there. And then the kitchen... Like so. And then we will f sort that out. And we'll do that next episode because this is getting uh, quite a long one. Got distracted many times by, uh, well, unsavory prisoners doing unsavory things. Who would have thought? Either way, we are going to call it to there. Next episode, I will really, really, really try and get that kitchen and canteen done. But I didn't expect on plan. I didn't plan on getting the showers done. And now that that is done, I think that's going to help us out. But we'll see how it goes. As always, hope you have enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.